There is a lot of chatter about the New Orleans Pelicans having a great amount of interest in moving up from number 14, Charlotte Hornets pick at number two. And the piece they may be willing to part with in order to make a trade like that happen is Zion Williamson. Here was ESPN insider Brian Wintours on Get Up. One team that has emerged that really would like to move up from their spot at 14 of the New Orleans Pelicans, potentially hunting a, a star player uh, caliber, maybe like a guy like Scoot Henderson. Um, the Pelicans have had some cursory discussions from what I've been told. There haven't been any offers uh, made necessarily yet, but it makes you really not take too far of a leap to wonder if the, and the league is certainly wondering if the Pelicans are going to make for the first time truly Zion Williamson available ahead of next week's draft to get up to that level in the, in the top five. You'd have to consider a player of this caliber. WD hose me down. Listen <laughs> up. Listen up. Yeah. I have not sold any of my Zion stock. None of it. Not amid the adult film star stuff last week. Not amid the injuries. Nope. I've sold none of it. He's my favorite college player that I got to cover in person. The Charlotte Hornets should absolutely pursue a trade for Zion, even if it means passing up on the chance to draft Scoot Henderson. I can already hear your retort to this, though. What about the health, Josh? We'll get to the health in a second. While that is certainly a question mark, his game isn't. Everybody acted like he missed the entire season this year. He played in more than a third of the games, I believe. 29? 29 games. You know how he did in those 29 games? 26 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists on average. Oh, but Josh, that's a small sample. Okay, his second year in the league, he was 27 points a game across 61 games. He was an all-star. When the guy plays, there are not 10 or 11 players in the league better than him. He is a legit MVP candidate. When's the last time? Charlotte was able to say, hey, we got a legit MVP candidate on our hands. Never. Did, Kim, did Kimba Walker ever make a run? Never. Never once. Never. Not like that. Not like MVP of the league type stuff. Never. With respect to Scoot Henderson, he might be a perennial all-star. I'm a huge fan of his work. But if he turns out to be an MVP candidate at any point, Charlotte hit the lottery. That is a huge unknown with Scoot. In a way, it's not with Zion when he's out on the court. But getting to the health piece, we do have precedent for a big guy who was drafted early in the draft having difficulty getting out on the floor early in his career. If you're the person that says, it is out of the question, you can't trade for this guy because of how often he's been missing, missing in action, consider Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid had back problems while he was at Kansas, still drafted third overall. Upon being drafted, we learned he had a stress fracture in his foot that was going to force him out for not one, but two seasons with Philadelphia. And in year three, he only played in 32 games. So going into him being 23 years old, after three seasons in the league, technically, Joel Embiid had played in 33 games. Zion Williamson has played in three seasons, 114 games. 114. Yes, he's had injuries. Those are concerning. But something you got to deal with as sports fans, injuries are always going to happen. Bryce Young's probably going to get hurt. So what? Peyton Manning had neck problems before he arrived in Denver and threw for broke the touchdown pass record and then won a Super Bowl against the Panthers. Right? Tom Brady tore his ACL. Every... Aaron Rodgers is a ton of injuries. These things happen in sports. Joel Embiid, if you ask the Sixers, knowing what they know now, hey, would you have signed up on what you have now with Joel Embiid after those three seasons where he only played 33 games in three years? They would sign up for every single time. Yes, there's some risk, but if you're the Hornets and you ever want to win anything, you have to risk things at times. You have to take some risks. You're not the Lakers. You're not the Heat. Take a swing and figure it out, even if you have to attach a player to it. If you got to attach the rights to Bridges, or I don't even know if you have the rights to Bridges right now, but even like Terry Rozier, if you had to do that, I don't care. As long as it's not LaMelo Ball, attach whatever player you want to to get this trade done and to bring an MVP candidate into Charlotte. 
This is where it's okay to talk about fit. I don't want to hear about fit when you're picking at the top of the draft and you're talking about 18, 19 year olds. Zion Williamson, you know what he is. When he plays, he's an excellent player. And you can't create in a lab a better fit for LaMelo Ball to be paired with than that dude. Rim running with Zion and LaMelo throwing the lobs? Are you kidding me? If Miles Bridge.